In this video, we're going to look at four examples uh, that deal with finding out whether uh, or not large numbers are prime numbers. The first one is, is 147 prime? Well, this is actually a very easy question because immediately I can write down the answer is no. Okay, the way that I check for prime numbers is I always start with, is it even? If it's not even, then if it's even, then it's not prime. Well, this is odd, so it doesn't count. Does it end in 5? Well, this doesn't end in 5, then it does it not count. The next thing is, is it divisible by 3? And the trick for finding if it's divisible by 3, add up the digits. 1 plus 4 plus 7 is 12. 12 is divisible by 3. That means 147 is divisible by 3. So 147 is not prime. The next one, 323, isn't quite that easy because uh, it, it's not even, it doesn't end in 5, it's not divisible by 3 because 3 plus 2 plus 3 is 8. So then we've got to go, and the good thing is we just have to go to our next prime number, which is 7. And we can check by just doing dividing. And so when we look at 323, we can divide to see if 7 goes into it. Well, when you divide 7, it's just a divisibility problem. 28, I... Uh, 7 times 4 is 28, 32 minus 28 is 4, 43, well 7 doesn't go into 43, so 323 is not divisible by 7. Then I look at 11, now there is a divisibility rule which we'll cover later for 11, if you know it then you should just apply it and you can see very quickly it's not divisible by 11, but you could also just divide quickly. 11 goes into uh, 32 twice, so that's 22. 11 does not go into 103, so we find out that 11 uh, does not go into 103. If you notice, it's going to be, it would have been somewhere around 29 point something if we divided it in, but it wouldn't divide evenly. So the next one is 13. Now there are no divisibility rules that we, we know for 13, so we just have to divide it. Does 3, 13 go into 32? Well, it goes into it twice. Does 13 go into 63? Well, that one might be kind of hard. You've got to think about it. Um, I think I know 13 times 5 is 65, so that's going to tell me no, because 13 times 4 is 52, which gives me a remainder 11. Then I can look at, now the question is, how high do I need to go? Well, the answer to that is, you need to go until this number that you're dividing into, whatever that prime number, is greater than what your answer is. Once that happens, then there are, you, you've ruled out all the possibilities. So my next number is 17, and so pretty quick, you can see pretty quickly this is going to happen. So if I try 17, well, 17 goes into 323 one time, and so that's going to give me 153. Now, does 17 go into 153? Well, you may not, may not be sure, and so you need to try. And so if we look at how many times did it go into it, well, that's a big number. I'm going to try 9, see if 9 works. 7 times 9 is 63, so I'm carrying the 6 here. 1 times 9 is 9 plus 6. Yeah, there we go. Remainder is 0, so that means 17 is a divisor of 323, so my answer to this question is no. So I just repeat the same process for 383, right? 3 doesn't go into 383, 2 doesn't, 5 doesn't. Does 7? Well... 7 goes into 383. That goes into 7 goes into 38 five times. 7 does not go into 33, and so that doesn't work. It's some number in the 50s. We try 11. Again, if you know the divisibility rule, this goes quicker. 11 goes into 38 three times, so 33 be 53. And so does 11 go into 53? The answer is no. It's around 34, so that doesn't work. We then try 13. Well, 13 goes into 38, well, just twice. And you've got to do these division. Division's important. 13 go into 123. Well, again, 13 is 123 is close to 130, so I'm going to guess 9. And when I multiply this out, I get... Well, no. 123 and 117 are not the same, so that doesn't work. So I've got to try 17. And again, uh, some of you can do this division quicker, which makes these problems in your head, than I'm doing them. 17 goes into 38 two times, which gives you 34. 43. 17 does not go into 43. 
That's around 22. So I'm not ready to stop yet because this number is not bigger than this one. But if I try 19, well, 19 goes into um, uh, 38 two times. I've only got remainder of three. So that means since 19 and 20 are right next to each other, the next prime number, 23, is going to give me something less than, and it won't go into it, right? Because if 23 were to go into 383, that's my next prime number is 23, then, then one of the ones I've already tried would have been the answer. Okay, another thing we can um, look at, uh, another kind of example we'll do real quick. I'm not going to quite finish it. it. says, list all the numbers between 320 and 340 that are prime. Well, that's a pretty daunting question, okay? The first thing we can do is we can consider, uh, leave out all the even numbers. The second thing we should be able to do is figure, leave out all the uh, multiples of 5, right? 325, 330, or 335 are not counting. So now we just, we can narrow our list very quickly. So we know it's got to be 321, 323, 325, or 27, 329, 331, 333, 337, 339. We can also now do the same thing we did before, which is eliminate multiple of 3. Well, this is a multiple of 3, right, because it adds up, uh, the digits add up to 3. And then you can just go after that, right? The next multiple of 3 is 324, then 327, then 330, then 333, then 339, because 333, 336, 339. So now I've just got four left, and so I can look at multiples of seven. Right? What are the multiples of seven in here? Well, that's a little harder, because we don't have a good divisibility rule for, for multiples of seven. So what we can think about is, well, what would be a number that would be a multiple of seven? Well, I know 350 is a multiple of seven right? 7 times 50. And if I subtract another multiple of 7, then I'll get a number inside, uh, then I'll get a multiple of 7. So if I subtract 21, right, that gives me 329. So I just learned that 329 is a multiple of 7. And then I know around that that 322 is a multiple of 7, because 329 minus 7 is that, and 336. So there are no more multiples of 7 in there. And so that leaves me, just using that, that leaves me with these three numbers as to whether or not they, those are prime. And then you'd have to go through and repeat the process we just did on those three numbers. But that's a way of using our knowledge of multiples and that big chart we did to find out if, uh, what the prime numbers are. So I'll leave it to you to decide, are these three numbers prime? And hopefully that you recognize that... Um, one of these on here might, are, might be prime because we've already uh, looked at it, and that's 323, right? 323 is not prime, and so you really only have to look at 331 and 338.